Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and I want to talk to you about what the crypto mining community would actually need to unlock their LHR GPUs. They wouldn't need an executable, they wouldn't need some specialized program. There's only a few things that they would need. The problem is, is getting those few things and getting somebody that can actually do it because Nvidia had locked it at such a level, it's very hard to break. Now I'm not an expert, however I do know enough to get myself into trouble. And the whole reason this video has come about is because of what happened recently with the so-called LHR Unlocker V2. You know all about that by now. If you haven't, go check it out. Especially check out my buddy Chump Change XD, um, who had Red Panda Mining and Yeti on to do a deep dive into what was actually happening. But basically, it was a link to a GitHub that was being... The videos were getting hijacked from your favorite content creators. They were adding descriptions with links to various outlets like GitHub or whatever. And then those links would install a program if you unzipped it and then ran the executable would install a whole host of programs that was malicious with all intent to compromise your system. Uh, the community did a very good job of trying to, you know, squash this and, and, you know, get everybody aware of it. However, many of their favorite tech outlets and tech reporters were posting all over it at least faster than most of us could get to. Um, eventually, they did amend or update their articles, which was good. Um, but some people were still able to try to install this software on their main system, which is unfortunate because as you can see here, it comes with a whole list of potential um, different packages, different packages or different payloads intended for different reasons. I'm not going to go into great detail. Yeti did a great job doing that. They speak my language and Yeti, thank you for all that. But more importantly, you know, the driver that they show here in the bottom left hand of the screen is uh, driver version 511.65. Uh, now that is a driver from NVIDIA, but the one that came with this particular package was only 155 kilobytes when the official driver from NVIDIA is 783 megabytes. But more importantly, what is actually needed for us to unlock the GPUs? Well, the first one I want to start off with is at the boot level, right? Um, there needs to be some signage or some uh, checking of the unique key at the BIOS or UEFI level. And we've seen something like this, for example, when we flash our NVIDIA GPU with a, uh, a uncompatible, but we still force flash GPU with a uncompatible BIOS, um, or with the AMD 6000 series. It would go to boot and it will load the main you know, welcome screen or the UEFI screen, but then after that it goes black and then there's nothing, keyboard won't do anything. So you have to go into BIOS and you have to play around with your, your boot settings. You know, you might have to load a, a legacy mode instead of the normal. It really depends on your BIOS, your motherboard and stuff like that. But that's the first check that the NVIDIA GPU is going to check or do when your system is booting up. And we're going to transition to a talking head video because I just want to make sure you're aware of this. So boot level check is going to happen. There's going to be some unique keys that uh, NVIDIA assigned per that GPU that's going to be checked at the, at the boot level. Then there's obviously the vBIOS, but not every vBIOS is compatible with everything else, right? So there's going to be only certain vBIOS that's going to be compatible with your GPU, as I demonstrated trying to flash my 3080 LHR with an, another GPU and even a full hash rate card. It's not that simple. It's not just get a full hash rate BIOS and then flash it to a LHR. It doesn't work that way. There's more signing that needs to be done at that level. Subsystem ID mismatch, all that stuff that we remember and know to today. So two things so far. We got a boot level requirement. We got a VBIOS requirement. And the third requirement is obviously the driver. Well, when we came out, me and Crypto Mikel, Brandon Coin, a number of us are working together to identify how to unlock the RTX 3060, the first revision of LHR V1, we found out NVIDIA messed up themselves by releasing a dev driver for 70.05. So by doing that and a number of unique steps, making sure the display is connected or using a dummy adapter and make sure it's connected to a by eight lane or higher or whatever the requirements are now these days because it's changed since the launch of that or I've been updated since the launch of that but I forgot we unlocked it at the driver level we didn't unlock it at the bios level but if we are able to do both on these modern day lhr cards i still don't think it will work so what will we actually need 
right? So we need a, a, a way to uh, confirm the boot level checks, right? So I'm assuming we'll probably have to go to our UEFI, uh, enable legacy boot, whatever it may be. There's probably gonna be some extra steps that we need to do. Um, then make sure we have a compatible vBIOS. Then make sure we have a driver. Now the driver is going to be a, a variant of a mix, right? So let's say we take 470.05, because we are able to lock the unlock the 3060 with that, but we want to be able to allow the 3080 Ti, the 3070 Ti, all the cars that came after the 3060 to work. Well, there's going to be some packages inside those more modern drivers that allow that we need to implement into 470.05 that came out well before those GPUs in order for those GPUs to be read. Obviously, it's going to be modified. It's going to be unsigned too, and so a lot of people are going to be skeptical about it. The best thing that you can do as a user is just wait, right? When new tech comes out, new CPUs, new GPUs, nine times out of 10, you hear me or many of us recommend, wait for proper reviews from you know, Gamers Nexus, uh, you know, Hardware on Box, Paul's Hardware, whoever your favorite tech tubers is. And once you get that information, then you can make an educated or an informed buying decision. When it comes to crypto mining, you know, everybody wants to get that extra hash rate, that extra performance. But at what cost? Wait for proper reviews because you really want to be testing this stuff on a proper system with great security and especially great network security to where you could lock it down to this one system, not let it spread um, before you go clicking anything. We don't need an executable to unlock our LHR cards. We're definitely going to need a BIOS, which we all played around with BIOSes before. We're definitely going to need to do something or something's going to have to be implemented to override or bypass the signage at the boot level and then we're going to need the driver that we're just going to have to trust the user who provided the driver and and you trust people all the time when you go to t-rex minor and lol minor and g minor you go to the latest version go to github unload the zip and then move it to wherever run that file you're trusting that minor dev that they're doing right by you and that they're just giving you what you need you need to be able to mine said cryptocurrency obviously there there there's a little bit of trust and give there because the dev is expecting you to at a certain point a percentage of your mining rewards will go to them so it's it's got to be that that you know scratch your backs you know scratch my back i scratch yours type situation where we have to trust the devs and if the dev is just popping up in the scene and saying hey i got this great thing that will unlock everybody's gpus it's going to be kind of sus you know, it needs to be open source and it needs to be able to be viewed openly by the community so that way we can scrutinize and go through every little bit, every little file, every little package, just unpack the whole thing and just go through it. Um, will that happen? Probably not anytime soon. Uh, and, and NVIDIA likes the 3000 series and I don't think that, that we're going to actually be able to unlock the full hash rate of these GPUs anytime soon unless NVIDIA is no longer concerned about it. Because even if somebody did come out with a actual way to unlock the LHR uh, GPUs, I presume they won't be publicly acknowledging that because then you have to worry about legal, uh, from NVIDIA's legal team, you know, coming down and breathing down your neck. You don't want to publicly state that. But uh, more, more, more importantly, you don't need to download or install anything uh, too crazy like that all-in-one installer that I saw that unlocker have you just need the v bios which you, we should be able to go get we might have to modify it but maybe it's like a tool from red bios editor but for nvidia uh there's going to be some steps that we need to do at the boot level either in the uefi or something to bypass that that signage point and then we're going to need a driver and that's where we're going to need to trust the the creator of the driver uh to actually unlock our gpus and not put any malicious code in it so that's pretty much it. I just want to make sure you understand what is actually needed. I'm not sure if that cleared it up or confused you even more, but let me know down in the comments below. Um, we may talk about this on a live stream in the future, but do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out the links in the description to help support us and what we do here. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.